Hello, I'm Amelia Lee Dewan with the Data Plus Feminism Lab at MIT, talking about my research, participatory machine learning models and femicide news alert detection. Globally, gender-based violence is an undeniable problem. In its most severe form, gender-based violence manifests as femicide. Despite the global nature of the problem, governments have failed to develop the necessary tools and data to curb the problem. Activists seeing the lack of state action against feminicide have taken to the streets and computers to log these deaths in their own communities and contexts, creating feminicide counter data. Many of these activists as non-state actors rely on media reports of deaths to log and record feminicides. However, when searching for articles, many activists have to read about irrelevant violence, which takes a mental health burden and takes a lot of time. Therefore, working with our co-design partners, our lab co-designed an email alert system to deliver relevant articles to these activist inboxes. In this project, we committed to participatory methods early on, making this a case study in what a system built with participatory methods from the start looks like. The email alert system relies on Media Cloud, which pulls news articles from specific sources, and then our model predicts the probability of femicide in an article before sending an email to the activist. And that type of email might look like this. Over 2021, we in the spring, we ran a pilot with seven groups to test this tool, three Spanish speaking groups and four English speaking groups. However, there was an issue with the English speaking groups. The groups that tracked all feminicides loved the tools, but the groups tracking racialized feminicides had a trouble finding relevant articles. Despite adjusting media sources and changing search queries, we couldn't make the model more relevant for the racialized feminicide groups. You can see this in the graph where racialized feminicide tracking groups, the three bars on the left, had significantly less satisfaction with the tool than the groups who tracked all feminicide, the bar on the right. We had confronted an issue that often plagues machine learning. Tools made for general usage often fail for intersectional marginalized groups. So what did we do? Did we call it a success after producing a model in two languages that works for the majority of our users? No. Because commitment to co-design and feminist participatory ML requires us to solve this problem with our partners. So this past fall, the Data Against Feminicide Project continued working with our racialized feminicide partners to retrain different models to provide them more to provide them with more context-specific models to use. Thank you.